I'm the author of the Mandolin Dead Man's Tuning books. You can check those out on my website at willieminix.com. And I'm here today to talk about something that I don't know that I've ever really made a video about this. And it's kind of my rendition of chopping. On the mandolin, you've got techniques, especially in bluegrass mandolin and standard tuning, where you do a lot of chopping. Now, I'm not in standard. For those of you who are new, I'm in A, D, A, D, A, D. And I tend to use um, two finger picking style when I play mandolin. Sometimes I'll even use three finger style if um, say I'm at a gig and I'm switching back and forth between the mandolin and the banjo when I have three picks on. But a lot of times if I'm just using two, I do a chopping style where I percussively go back and forth between my two fingers. So the thumb comes down and the index finger comes up. So. sound that I'm getting where some of the notes are coming through but they're not coming through clearly they're cut off quickly like rather than just what I do is I'm bouncing this hand up and down like this on the strings not in, on any particular string And if you get into that rhythm, then it's just the next step is to go and hammer some of the notes that you want to play. And you can go back and forth between actually playing the note and actually hammering. And you can control when you are actually pressing down on the note and lifting up and I believe and I could be wrong about this because I'm not a standard player and I'm not really much of a bluegrass player but I kind of feel like it makes sense that Bill Monroe I've always heard liked a high action and it seems to me that it's easier to get a lot of the chopping effects that Bill Monroe did if you have a higher action I prefer a really low action And I think that changes my sound just a little bit from a standard mandolin player that does like Bill Monroe stuff because you really do get a different effect if the action's a little higher and you're dampening the strings. It's not a pronounced effect that the average layman would notice, but I imagine between mandolin players they can tell the difference. And probably a lot of you people that play Bluegrass probably noticed that mine sounds slightly off, and I think that may be why. It could be technique too, but I think that it has a lot to do with my action, because I like my action really low, just like on guitars when I play. And incidentally, even though I play slide on the mandolin, which I did a several videos on how to play slide, I didn't adjust my action. I'm still a very low action. I just have a really light touch when I use my slide. And it's the same way when I chop. Now you can add to that by doing palm muting down below. Palm muting. gives you kind of a pizzicato sort of a sound which is different also than it sounds different and all those different devices and techniques can all kind of go together to make the sound that you're going for on your mandolin so god bless you you have a good day please like and subscribe to my videos and check out more and hopefully we'll get you some more good lick videos um, for the rest of this year. So God bless you and we'll see you in the next video.